Hi there. Today I want to talk about some different ways to use the Stamping Up Paper Piercing Pack. This is in the main catalog, 2012-2013 catalog. If you've never bought one of the Paper Piercing Packs, they're worth it, if nothing else, for just this uh, linear uh, piercing border that you can use on cards, and this was a little larger one than the old pack. They're designed to be used with a variety of punches and uh, some of the die cutting um, options with the Big Shot. When I bought mine, my intention was to buy the Big Shot, but I guess I got the cart before the horse, and I ended up not buying the Big Shot. So I was looking around for some ways to use this without having to own all the different punches and all the things that go with it, and there are a lot of things you can do with the pack. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the scallop borders. And you can use them on a card just plain, uh, just putting them down and, and using the pa paper piercer to punch holes and have a nice border. But there are other things you can do with them as well. One of the things I discovered is that this, this scallop border is a perfect fit for one-inch circles. So if you take a one-inch circle punch and punch circles, they will lay perfectly into these, um, this shape. So that's what we're going to do is create a border with that. You can also use the larger ones, uh, or the wider uh, scallops, with a one and a half inch punch. So it will also create a similar border to the one we're going to, cre going to do with the smaller circles. So you've got a couple of options there, and we'll see how to use those. The papers I'm using today are from uh, Miss Caroline Paper Pad from My Mind's Eye, and I just punched a bunch of circles out of these nice small uh, prints and I'm using one of the larger, or, or one of the other prints in, in the pad for my background. To make my circle strip, I need um, a strip of white cardstock, uh, or scrap cardstock, doesn't matter what color. And I'm going to just put some glue down on that. And I already have some removable adhesive on my mat to hold this in place. It's not essential that you do that, but it will help hold things together as you're working. Okay. And then I'm just going to take all my little circles that I've already punched and position them so they fit right inside the scallops. And they're sticking to this strip. And once those are adhered, then I'll pull up the whole thing and trim out what's visible on this strip. So I can attach this to my card. I'm going to add a little bit of um, ink to the edges. I use stamping up inks a lot for distressing. They work just as well as the distress inks. Just depends on what color I have. And this is going to go along the edge of this piece, and I want to put a greeting on this piece, and the one I've chosen is from an old stamp set. It can be any greeting, um, but I don't want these words along the bottom, so I need some tape to cover those so they won't get inked. And do some embossing and coat this good with the embossing body. Using Versamark, and after I ink that good, I'm going to peel off my tape. And 
white embossing powder and I'm going to go heat set this. Okay, I'm gluing this uh, three and a half uh, inch by five and a half inch piece onto a standard size card. The background paper is from uh, Paper Tray Ink. I believe it's called Sweet Blush. It's very similar to the Stampin' Up! Color Blush Blossom that was discontinued. And I'm ready to glue this piece on. I want to make sure I leave a little bit on the edge because this is where my paper piercing mat comes in. So now I'll line this up the circles in the black outline and then just use my paper piercer to punch holes. Sometimes it slips a little as you go, just line it back up. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way so I'm not right on top of it. Okay. Alright. And there's our pretty edge around the corners. And the last thing we need is some um, twine. I like to go around twice with my twine. And there we go. A really simple card. I think it's very effective and a nice way to use uh, the paper piercing template with one inch punch circles. And again, you can do one and a half inch punch circles and get a similar look with um, this scallop. Thanks for joining me today. Please check out my blog for more information.